I just thought I'd make a quick video of how I'm going to make a canopy for this 60 inch wingspan Evanti Patterns plane that I, I, I'm building. What I'm planning to do is I'm going to make a plug to fit where the canopy would, the same size as the canopy, and then I'm going to shrink some acetate or a, a plastic bottle or something around that to make the canopy itself. And I'm going to be using a, a big block of balsa that I've stuck together, these are 10 mil pieces of balsa, which are big enough for the canopy itself. And to do this, rather than just trying to do it freestyle, I want to use as many gauges as I can, taking information from the fuselage itself and also the, the plans. And the first thing I've got here is the side elevation from the plans of the, of the canopy shape. So I'm going to use this as a gauge to shape my, uh, my balsa block to produce my plug for, for casting or, or moulding the, the, the canopy. And that will probably be the first job, to actually cut this side elevation into this plug of balsa. What I've also done is I've made a couple of other gauges. This one is the shape of the rear of the canopy and it doesn't quite fit at the moment because the fuselage is going to need some shaping as part of this process and it will just fit there. I've also done a mid canopy gauge template which is essentially the same as, as the, the end one but it's just slightly higher because the canopy follows the line of the turtle deck up to a high point and then comes down to the windscreen. So again, that will fit somewhere like that. So I'm going to use these three gauges to help me make a plug. And this top on the fuselage, which is going to be glued on eventually, I haven't glued on yet because I want to build my plug in situ like that so I can make sure that that profile looks great. Right, well I've now spent quite a lot of time um, sanding, shaving, planing, cutting to get this uh, block to the right shape so that I've got a nice side profile view of my, uh, my canopy and that's, that's a pretty good fit and there we go and you can see what that's going to be like how that's going to take shape. It's a little bit big still, a little bit too tall, a little bit wide but I don't want to try and take it exactly down just yet. The final tweaking can be done at a later stage. Now I've got that profile done, what I need to do is start to put the curve actually into the canopy itself. And to start with I've put a Draw, uh, 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 I've drawn on the back here around the rear of the, the turtle deck. So I've just gone round with a, a pencil and just drawn that. I've also put a, a central line down the block so I know what to work from so I get it symmetrical. And I have my gauges that I, I made earlier and this one will fit there, this is the rear canopy, obviously that's going to be different to that slightly because um, it's, that's at a bit of an angle, so that will fit there, like that, and then we have the mid canopy there. So, I'm going to start to shave these sides now, and I need to be very careful, two things I need to be very careful of, is one, that as I, as I round this off, I maintain that line, so I maintain that line and I don't flatten out the top of the curve here. So I'm going to maintain that and put in that curve using those gauges. I am not going to give a thought to this front yet. I'm just thinking about that and getting these two things right and then the next job will be to take that front round so that it, 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 fits, it fits nicely. Well, a load more shavings later and I've reached the next stage where I've profiled the sides down so you've got this lovely curved shape that's going to form the sides of the canopy. 
and it's still in line with the angle of the turtleneck which is nice so um, it, it's just slightly proud a little bit so it's going to need it, it, it's got room there for the final finishing and particularly along here the next stage now is to round the front and so just a quick look at this you can see it's it, it's rounded off it'll still need that final uh, finishing just to make sure there's no uh, no ridges although that's pretty good actually um, but I'll have a look in a in a better light I always find with things like this your fingertips are a really good indicator you can feel if there's any ridges and also I've got a um, kind of a carport and overhang at the front of the house and the light comes in from the side and it just casts a shadow over any just little ridges I find that really good for for this kind of stuff just to to get that light angled light so the next job now is to round this these corners here and I've marked on the front uh, 15 mil from the center line either side so that's 30 millimeters and I'm going to just keep that flat at the front and just round these corners here and I'm going to bring it, bring it back probably to about that line so I'm just going to have to take off that this is probably the hardest bit um, this is this is quite straightforward really but this this um, I'll, I'll take nice and steady and uh, and get those uh, rounded off and then it will be really nice to see how that fits and uh, and the profile that we've got. So I'll get on and uh, and just do those corners now. Well, I think we have a finished uh, plug, so I can now form the canopy. I say I think because I'm going to leave it and have another look with fresh eyes tomorrow, and it might be that there's just a little bit more that comes off, but. I quite like that fit now and it looks it looks quite nice and it's nice and smooth and it's it's symmetrical so I, I think that's probably what we're going to go with just a couple of things about doing this front edge um, doing the one side was fine I was quite happy doing that but then I was a bit nervous about trying to get it symmetrical so I got a piece of tracing paper and traced the one side when I'd finished it and then just turned it over to make sure that I got the same kind of profile on that side and as far as the the profile like that I found it really useful just to to, to look look at it and then just roll it like that and to see with my eye if it was symmetrical um, as I roll it like that you're seeing the sort of a cross section through as, as you roll up or down so that, that's kind of what I found helpful so I'll have a look at this tomorrow and maybe just give it a, a another quick light sanding to, to finish that off and then I need to try and make the canopy itself right well I just cut the the bottom off a a plastic bottle, a nice big big um, fizzy drinks bottle, the fizzy ones are, are, are thicker plastic. One of the, the issues is I obviously want to the bottle as long as possible so I'm cutting off as little as possible off the bottom but when it bends in like this it can damage your former and it makes it quite difficult to get the bottle in so it's kind of a bit of a compromise really. Now the first thing I'm going to do or well, the first thing I've done is I've pushed this tight up into the into the nose of the bottle and I've packed it really tight with false and sticks and I've got a bit of a bit of a handle on it. The more it's packed like this, um, the the more the, the shrinkage of the bottle actually tightens up on the former itself. So it's one of these jobs where you could do with uh, six pairs of hands so I'm enlisting the help of my vice here to uh, to hold it now first thing I'm going to do with this is I just check the camera can pick that up I might just bend that round a little bit it, it, it's difficult because I need to be able to get all round sides of it but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this end and I'm going to pull this down with the pliers because what I want to do is pinch it around this back end 
so that when it starts to shrink here it doesn't come and uh, is too short so we'll do that first plug in the uh, hot air gun always helps right pull that down just let that set a little bit and I'll now pull this side in just let that um, harden again and I'll just turn it over oops just tighten the light Right, now I'm going to take this a little bit further. Take that out of the vise. And now I'm just going to try and get this end nicely done. There we go. Now you can see on the camera there that's pinched in nice and tight around there. I am still going to need to apply some heat there to smooth it out and you can see it shrunk around the back of the canopy but now I'm going to concentrate on this midsection. Right, now there's quite a lot to be done here so I'm going to pull that front down, physically pull it down with a pair of pliers. Pardon. and you can see that has taken on quite a nice profile now there's a bit of a wrinkle there and a little bit here but now I'm just going to go around and tighten, <coughs> tighten this up excuse me And I think I might just pull that down a little bit more just on that nose. Although it is going to be trimmed quite a bit on that on that nose. Just swap hands again. There we go, and there we have quite a nice uh, canopy if I just let that cool a little bit because often after it's cooled it does just develop a little bit of a crinkle here and there uh, which again don't be afraid of heating it up twice to, uh, to get out that, that odd little wrinkle. I think what I'm going to do now is wait for this to cool and I'll cut it out and see how it fits and I will make, um, make a, few, a few examples and just see which one's the best. But this is really, really tight on here now. So I'll just run my knife around the edge here. But you can see that's quite, it's quite a nice, easy process. I mean, admittedly, this isn't the first I've done and it just takes a little bit of practice. But it's, it's quite a nice process. 
Well, I've had a, a few goes, and I would say this is probably the one. This looks really nice. Uh, as far as these others, the you can see on, on this one here, I've just got it a little bit too hot, and, uh, and that's discoloured it. One of the problems I've found is an issue of brandy. Now, these bottles, I don't know whether that shows up in the light. Yeah, I think it does on the, if I held it on a black surface. You can see there's marks here, which I originally thought was glue, but actually that is scratching. And all of the Pepsi bottles, no, sorry, all of the Coca-Cola bottles I had have this scratching, which must be from the manufacturing process. Um, I've got another one down here which I haven't used and again it's got scratching and I've looked at it with a magnifying glass and it's definitely scratching which just makes your canopy look uh, not very good and I could have turned the bottle around a bit but it scratched all the way around and also you had glue on it. The best bottle I found was the Pepsi. This is a, sorry about the noise, I've got a digger next door which I'm competing with. Um, this is a, a Pepsi bottle, and the Pepsi bottles are lovely and clean and clear. This was the very first one I did, and where I got the, uh, the etched date stamp on it. And this one here again is a Pepsi bottle, and it's lovely and clear, it's gone really nice. One thing I would say is, you can still see the faint lines where there was a, a bit of a pattern in, in the bottle, which I don't think will ever go. but. To be honest, they're hardly noticeable. It was really useful to do this back end first and to use a pair of pliers and just to pull that down and to get this to, to pinch around so it didn't shrink off. And then on this front, I think you saw it on the video, I pulled that down with a pair of pliers to, to pull that nice and tight onto there. And I think it's good to let it cool down, settle, and then have a look and see where you've got perhaps just the odd little bit of a wrinkle or something that needs smoothing out and reheating it. I wouldn't be afraid of reheating it. Here I just tried to pull a little bit and I put a, some heat on the underside and you can see that's, that's damaged the plastic but it, it doesn't matter. So this, th this looks really good and uh, of course pack it as much as you can so it's as tight against the side of the bottle as possible so that it's got limited amount to shrink so all the shrinkage is tightening up on the on the actual former itself so anyway I'm going to cut this out now and I'll uh, I'll be back in a second and we'll just have a look and see what that looks like so there we go the finished canopy in place it still needs a little bit of fine trimming and of course it's going to have the, the decking on here, which so it's going to need to be trimmed around the front and there should be plenty on the sides to actually uh, secure that in place. So now I've got one done, I need to uh, do just a couple more so I've got some in reserve just in case. <laughs>